Hey guys, what's up? Magic Bard here with another tutorial of movie magic. So on this one, I'm going to show you what you can do with your iPhone. And basically all you have to do is get one shot of you sitting against a mirror and then bringing the camera towards the mirror and we'll go from there. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to take our footage, drop it into a new composition and find the um, in and out points that you want to use so for me it's about right here I, as you can see I did a bunch of takes so I messed this one up but I'm gonna go right here and click that in point and right as I hit the mirror about there you see the camera shake that's where I'll do my out point all right, cool. So now we have our little coming into the mirror and all you have to really do is duplicate this, all right, control D and move your layer over and what you're gonna do for your second layer, okay, is reverse the action. So right click, time, and reverse layer. Okay, so now we've got this sort of boomerang effect, right? But what we want is we want to go through the mirror. So how we do that is we have to flip this area. And in After Effects, it's called flop. I don't know why, but okay, so cool, check it out. Now we're going through the mirror, okay? But we've got this little stutter action that's because as my arm gets closer to the mirror, I sort of tilt it a bit. So what we're going to have to do is uh, keyframe that rotation. So let's zoom in here by pressing the plus sign on your keyboard and bring your top layer over just one frame and then turn the opacity down to about 50%. So press T, which will open up your opacity parameter and bring this down to about 50, okay? and then bring the playhead over so it's on top of both and now what we want to do is match these two clips together so we're going to use the uh, rotation and position to set it in so your keyboard shortcuts are going to be W for rotation okay, and then V to use the pointer and move the position okay so kind of get it on there until it's not fuzzy anymore and this is what you're really looking at, not the outsides, okay? So once this seems about right, you're gonna be good to go, so. So that looks good to me. Let's um, turn the opacity up back to 100% and see what we got here. And bring, make sure to bring the layer over back to where it was, the, the end point. Okay, so it lines up. We're looking good. Press the uh, subtract or minus button to zoom back out. And what we've got here is going through the mirror. Cool. All right, now what you're going to do is we need to place our footage back into the uh, area so there's no black spaces, right? So take this all the way at the beginning. Press, press R for rotation keyframe that, keyframe the position as well, so press P, keyframe that, and then bring it over to probably make it one second long, and let's bring the position to, what is it, 960 by 540, I believe, and then go to your rotation R and put that back to zero. And then what we're gonna get is, cool, that little, motion back into frame. All right guys, so we're getting there. Next part is we want our face to be in the middle of the frame at all times. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is go into layer, new, null object, and we're gonna connect these two layers to the null. Okay, so just select them both, take your pick whip tool, parent it to the null and let go. Okay, and you'll see right here that it's connected to null 5, which is what we want. So now, just click on the null, press the P for position, 
and now you can move the null object and both of these layers will move with it okay so next part let's add some rulers in there so um, click over here to your title sh title safe and click on rulers so you can see them so they're visible and then drag one of these on the top down to the center which is right here where the null object is and then go over here on the left drag a ruler out here all you have to do is click hold and drag it out and um, so that's going to be our reference point for the center of the frame and now what we're going to do is keyframe the position of our null so click that and just bring it over so your face is in the center so that looks about right to me go to the middle okay where we cut in between and we want the center of our heads to be in the center of our composition composition as well so bring that one over and then at the very end you're gonna do the same thing bring your face over to the center boom so now cool we're, we're doing good we're doing good folks okay so this is exactly what we want press N to kind of N uh, put the out point of our composition right here and then we're gonna take our iPhone mirror 5 here I'll make a new folder call it uh, tutorial for YouTube and um, so take your composition that we just made right here and bring it into a new comp right here and that essentially just pre-composes our whole thing okay so now we've got our pre-composed comp right here looking good and I will just cut it down okay and now the next part we want to do is inside of this comp go to composition settings and make this a Instagram format so 1080 by 1080 because we're gonna post this on Instagram when we're done um, and it'll also cut out all that black we don't like so cool we we're doing good we're doing good now we need to fix this part okay so go there go in the middle of that cut and you're gonna scale up to get rid of this unwanted video or no video so press s for scale and keyframe the scale at a hundred and bring it to about here and keyframe it again and we'll do the same thing here keyframe okay so you basically set uh, three keyframes it's gonna scale up here and then scale back down to a hundred okay so let's just scale it up right to where it's gone and then what will happen is zoom in zoom out now you can either do that and let's just uh, RAM preview it see what it looks like um, so you can do that little zoom in zoom out thing that we just did right here or if you want just keep it instead of keyframing this whole thing just keep it at 120 um, percent the whole time it's all up to you in the style stylic stylistic choice you decide to end up doing all right okay and now what we're gonna do is time remap this so we can get rid of the um, this kind of slowness that's happening in between these keyframes over here so once again pre comp this by bringing your composition into a new comp and you know find where the end is kind of bring this over okay looking good there go right click time enable time remapping and set a keyframe at the very end you're gonna set a keyframe when it starts to slow down right about there and then at the beginning set another keyframe when it starts to slow down about there and then just bring these two bad boys together okay trim this clip in to the keyframe and uh, let's see what we got RAM preview it okay it's looking a little better it's looking a little better 
Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't like this uh, this little zoom in right here. So take these keyframes and delete them. These are our scales, okay? So we're just gonna keep it at 120 percent, which looks fine to me, okay? And um, let's see what that looks like now. All right, good. The motion is smoother. You know, and you can really finesse these um, keyframes right here, getting it to the exact speed you want. I want to try and be a little faster on this one. So we got that. Now you've guessed it. The next part is duplicate it. Okay. So Apple D, Control D, or Command D if you're on a Mac. Duplicate it, bring it over, and you're going to reverse this layer. And now what you've got is a boomerang going back. Now there's that little black spot because I forgot to, I didn't edit it out right there. And we'll do the same thing right here. Okay. Bring this in, RAM preview it, and let's see what we got. Now you're going through mirrors. All right, guys, that's the basic effect. This is a, uh, it, it, it's a fun and interesting effect. I don't know exactly how you'd end up using it unless if you were shooting some kind of uh, Stanley Kubrick-like horror movie. Um, I don't know. You can probably think of a way to put that one in there. So, uh, yeah, guys, check it out. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment. Um, what kind of tutorials do you want to know about? What kind of visual effects are you curious about? And let me know and I'll try to get them to you as soon as possible. Um, subscribe and you'll see all the tutorials I'm sending out. I'm trying to do two to three a week now and uh, hopefully I can spark your interest on creating cool content and little movie magic. So feel free to follow me on social media. I'm at Magic Bard on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Guys, that's the going through mirrors effect. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.